Today in history on May 18, 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption. On May 18, 1980, Mount St. Helens in Washington state erupted. Catastrophically, marking the deadliest and most economically destructive volcanic event in U.S. history. The eruption resulted in 57 fatalities, devastated over 230 square miles of forest, and caused an estimated $1.1 billion in damages. At 8.32 a.m. on May 18, a magnitude 5.1 earthquake triggered the collapse of Mount St. Helens' north face, resulting in the largest landslide ever recorded. This collapse unleashed a lateral blast of superheated gas, ash, and rock, traveling at speeds up to 670 miles per hour and flattening everything within a 230 square mile radius. The eruption column soared 12 miles into the atmosphere, dispersing ash across at least 11 states and parts of Canada. In the aftermath, the Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument was established in 1982, preserving the area for research, education, and recreation. Ecological recovery has been remarkable species have recolonized the area, and vegetation has gradually returned. The U.S. Geological Survey continues to monitor the volcano closely, as Mount St. Helens remains the most active volcano in the Cascade Range. I hope today is a good history for you.